So I'm doing a little test today. This is a DeWalt heater, a little uh, propane heater using the one pound tanks. We have spots on both sides, but the model of this is the DXH-12B. And what I've been testing today is that this little heater has a fan. I don't have any propane hooked up. It has a fan and it has a light. It has USB ports and these are all powered by our friend, the DeWalt 20 volt max battery. Now, right now you see we're flashing. That means that the battery is running low. I started this this morning uh, five hours ago. So the light and the fan have been running for five hours constantly today. And I just was going to show this to you in the back. I'm gonna get this a little farther up on the, sh the counter here. Is our battery. Switches, fan, light. Light, light. And of course, you put our battery in here. This can use the 20 volt. It can also use the new batteries, the 40 and the 60 volt, because you can see that there's a lot of space. I used just a regular three amp hour, 20 volt max battery. And let's see, let's go here and show you. So we still have one battery indicator there, so it would be able to run a little bit longer. But on a three amp hour battery, and I didn't do anything special. This isn't a brand new one, just one that I've been using with my different tools. It ran for five hours today, and then it started fl flashing up there. Again, you've got a cool little device here. I'm going to be using this for ice fishing come this upcoming winter season. We're going to do some tests now where we go and put, put uh, I'm going to get this shut. There we go, claps. We're going to go and we put some tanks in here, run the lights, and run the fan, and see how that works. But on high, this is a 1,200 BTU, and I think around a 7 thousand BTU somewhere in that ballpark and on high we can get about three hours excuse me an hour and a half on on high on a one pound tank and about three hours on low but anyway we'll cover more of that in different videos I just wanted to show you that this is out there and this test was pretty cool getting five hours of runtime off the light and fan